Gaurav, uh, now uh, we see there's a growing uh, political class that is in fact uh, coming together, finding common ground um, against uh, this treatment that has in fact been meted out to the Indian diplomat. And also the, the US actually, you know, uh, they should definitely offer an apology for what they have done. But there's several facts that they need to consider uh, in this case. For one, definitely about uh, the, the complaint that Devyani had in fact issued in the, in the courts here, which the US courts the, uh, seem to have not respected at all. Well, you're spot on the political class in this country is coming together, whether it's the Congress or the BJP or other parties, it's the political class that now stands united. Yesterday, even the government wasn't speaking in one voice, uh, as, as headlines today first reported, that Meera Kumar and NSA may have said no to the US congressional delegation. Salman Khurshid, as external affairs minister, met them. But today, Rahul Gandhi said no. Uh, uh, Narendra Modi, BJP's prime ministerial candidate, he's refused to meet them. Clearly here, it's the political class that is sending a message and this is a message that will go home. Also, the fact that the country is talking about the ill treatment of an, of an Indian diplomat, this will send a message home and this message goes home not only through, through this channel but also through the US diplomats. They would convey to their home country that their action has led to identity right. cards of all consulates being revoked and in all of this perhaps there would be a review as Ambassador Ronin Sain rightly pointed out, neither India nor the US want the relationship between right. the two countries and their strategic partners. You don't want to sour relations over one incident, but there has been a there have been a series of incidents now, and the U.S. needs to investigate why why is this happening, and this shouldn't happen in future.